Hey everyone, we're back in Piqua, heading home to Spring Valley, August the 2019th. Uh, this uh, bike path doubles on this uh, industrial type road here for about a quarter mile by the chemical place, the sewer plant then comes and then turns here. I suppose if you're not very attentive, you might miss it. So. That's one of my favorite places, so don't go on down the road. Make sure you go about halfway down the road and look for this bike sign. Take a left. This takes you over into downtown Pequa. I have to walk up these steps here. They got a little bike rail for two-wheel bikes. Hey, I really like this bridge here. It goes over this, uh, I'll call it a river. I'm not sure what it is what river it is. I've never heard anybody mention and I've never asked. But it's really kind of historic. Uh, once you get up here you can ride uh, around the next corner. Just be careful coming this way heading towards uh, Troy because uh, there's a uh, steps there at the end and a big fence. That would uh, not be too friendly. But anyhow, I like it up here. It's very beautiful. this is an old service road because up the road up there that building over there let me see if I can zoom in on it that's like an old uh, generator uh, power station years ago so they just uh, took off all the stuff here about three or four or five years ago there's some of the modern power grid stuff still left so but just beautiful. You look down the river about a quarter mile. Fairly clear. About two or three feet deep in most spots. I'm sure there's deeper holes, but generally it's fairly shallow. So you can look way up to there. Let's see what we can zoom in here. Way up to there. That's uh, Pequa at the top, you can kind of see. Uh, I think that's a church or something, a steeple there above the bridge. So that's probably uh, two or three miles, a couple miles. So that's uh, nine, nine zoom power on my camera here. So that's that, so that's what that is. So up there's Pequa. We zoom her back down so yeah it's just beautiful uh not to me riders out it's friday like i said the 19th so i don't want to go too far in case somebody pulls up on the bike so there's the river down there that's captured and this is the glare of the sun it's very beautiful like i said on the way finishing our day back from sydney at their doing some jackhammer or something over the sewer plant that's what all that noise is in the background but back to sydney over there by the sewer plant is also where the bike trail goes up the river towards sydney so it uh, crosses here then goes up to the left up into downtown sydney and uh i mean piqua so pardon and then uh, circles around piqua and it, there doesn't go any further you have to get on the road uh, which I do and ride up to Sydney, which is where I came from, but uh, it does go on across this bridge here that I'm standing on and circles around uh, Pequa, which is real pretty, especially in the fall with all the leaves. So just beautiful. Uh, supposed to be about 85 today, partly sunny. Just gorgeous out. So I got started about 7 o'clock on a 150-mile ride. And uh, just enjoying the day. Enjoyed. Hope everybody enjoys uh, the video. I don't know if it does it as much good as it is in person doing it. So I highly recommend it. So yeah, just a historic uh, service bridge. I'm sure it was for the uh, power plant over there. So they uh, ran their power and cable and service vehicles to get across the uh, 
river here. Now it duplicates as a uh, doubles as a uh, little bike trail bridge to cross. So I'm sure the one day they'll improve it or replace it. But for now, if you want to go on into Piqua without riding the road, this is uh, the bridge you must be sure to cross on. So there's my bike. It's still there. Nobody's uh, borrowed it. Ha 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 really pleasant in the shade so yeah just turn uh, where you see the security notice and bike route signs and lift your bike up probably and uh, carry it up these steps and cross the bridge and you can start riding it on the bridge and uh, down the other side there's no steps they have a ramp on that side so but it's been a good day I think this is the last of the day for me. I'm gonna hustle home, try to be home by six-ish. And uh, I think it's 1.30 or two, uh, 2.30, pardon me. Time's getting away from me, a little after 2.30, so I'm still in Pecla, so. All right, hope everybody's uh, having a good uh, Friday and has a good weekend and thanks for watching. And please, uh, like and comment and subscribe and hope to bring you more uh, of my biking adventures and landscaping uh, reviews and questions and uh, different things that's going on so just sharing my uh, story and things i'm doing so all right that's it from uh, pequa on the bike trail in pequa by the sewer plant and uh, thanks for watching, heading back that way to get back on the bikeway. Like I said, it's a shared little road here down through the uh, business area here. So once you get off of, down at the end of it down there, there's the bikeway again, which will take you back into, uh, I think that's Tip City is the first, or Troy. It'll come to Troy, then Tip City. So that bikeway will go into Troy, be there in about 30 minutes or less, and then back into Tip City, uh, another 20, 30 minutes, so then down into Dayton. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.